the internal Pro Tools Dolby Atmos renderer now supports custom library renders from binaural up to 916. From printing delay compensated stems directly into sessions to monitoring mixes using third party Apple Spatial Audio plugins, you can now work with library renders without requiring the external Dolby Atmos renderer application. You can create custom live re renders from the Dolby Atmos tab in the IO setup or in the re render configuration within the Bounce Mix window. To create a new live re render, click the Custom Re Render button, enter a name, and click the plus button. Use the format selector to configure the re render format or width. Then use the Include options to create a re render of the full mix or any combination of beds, objects, and groups. Re-renders can be up to 714 in Pro Tools Studio and 916 in Pro Tools Ultimate. Clicking the Live checkbox will make the re-render available in Pro Tools to assign as an input to a track or auxiliary of matching track width. Your custom live re-renders can be used to return re-renders in different stems and formats to Pro Tools for monitoring, for delay compensated printing of stems, or for processing or analyzing with plugins, or within Pro Tools. You can use a live re render for an accurate preview of Apple Music binaural characteristics, or monitor mixes using third party spatializing plugins that provide virtual rooms or personalize HRTF and headphone matched monitoring. Live re renders also provide a way to apply additional processing, such as limiting or compression, on the full mix or stems for delivery in other formats. Unlike the headphone stereo or binaural and the loudness re render outputs, the live re renders remain active even if the internal renderer monitor is muted and are fully delay compensated. Custom live re renders are optimized for performance and are always running at the highest possible hardware buffer size regardless of your setting in the playback engine. However, if lower latency is required, you may use the headphone or loudness re-render, which follow the hardware buffer size in the playback engine. As you can see, live re-renders support a range of critical music and audio post workflows. You can now independently monitor different configurations, apply limiting, and easily QC and export stems, all within Pro Tools.